Hi everyone, my name is Robert and welcome back to a new video. In this video I am going to talk about my disability. It's important because it might change my life. I must admit that I am autistic. I will talk about autism and everything that has to do with autism. I will talk about my autism, my experiences when it comes to my autism and how it has affected my life. This video will not be a funny one, so yeah, let's be serious in this video. Alright, for you guys who don't know what autism is, I will tell you that it's a disorder characterized by difficulty in communicating and forming relationships with other people. There are three levels of autism. The levels indicate the extent to which autism impacts an individual's ability to communicate and take care of themselves. The levels describe the disorder severity and how much support a person needs. I'm in the second level. I say that because I can often do some things, especially all by myself, such as cooking. But when I'm with others, I avoid doing those things. My autism also makes me be unable to take care of other people and pets. For example, children, sick people and dogs. Sometimes I feel like communicating with others and at some points I don't. Sometimes I can act to some things and at some points I don't. There are some things I am not able to do all by myself. There are other conditions connected to autism, such as depression and anxiety. I will tell you guys, when someone is mad at me or is yelling at me, I may become sad and depressed. Autistics feel greater distress when someone is upset to them. I may also be panicked and have thoughts about serious attempts when someone is yelling or is mad at me. I may be unhappy when someone else is not happy and sometimes hit myself. I may feel disappointed or blamed when I make wrong things, even if it's sometimes okay to make wrong things. I will now talk about communication. Sometimes I may have problems with eye contact. It is common for all autistics, such as me. It is also common that I do not speak a lot when being with others, especially non-autistics and people without any disorder. Not to speak a lot or not at all, is very common for all autistics. It's common that some autistics talk to themselves. I often talk to myself, both when I record videos and don't record videos. Now I will tell you guys that some autistics have emotions to other things than they should have. 
It's common that autistics laugh at the wrong moment. For example, I laughed when something was not funny. I laughed when someone hit me or called me a stupid person. Actually, I should have been mad or sad. I also told you guys that I become mad when someone is mad at me. I wish I wasn't autistic because I want to be social and communicate, talking a lot to other people, of course. Other people, especially people without autism, enjoy talking to each other for several hours, but for me, my autism prevents me from talking to other people. I can talk about something to other people for maybe five minutes or less, but then I want to be quiet. But now, when you guys watch this video, I talk for more than five minutes. I had to write a script to say all the important information about autism and that I am autistic, of course. You guys may also wonder why it has only been me in almost every video. My autism makes me to be all by myself. I feel more focused when I am all by myself, but in a few videos I have been with friends. The reason why I haven't been with friends in the most of my videos is because that I have a problem with my communication and that I do not feel very comfortable due to my autism. It is not easy for me to make friends in real life. I will tell you guys why I am uploading videos on YouTube and posting pictures on Instagram. I want followers and I also want friends. Nice friends. That's why I am doing those things. And another reason why I have a YouTube channel is because that I'm now talking about my autism. Due to my autism, I had to do something important. In 2018, I went to the mental asylum there were many other reasons than just my autism. The reasons were because I was depressed, anxious, felt to commit suicide, failed with things that would have changed my life, etc. I suffer from depression and anxiety too. It is common for autistics. Being at the asylum did not change my life at all. I didn't get the help I needed. And the negative thing with being at the asylum costed me money. I had to pay 100 Swedish kronor each day for being at the asylum. I was there for two weeks. I owed them 1,400 Swedish kronor. My life hasn't been easy. I have autism and it has affected me a lot. I want some things, but there are limits for me. 
my autism prevents me from doing some things such as being at clubs for people with normal conditions. I have been at a karate club for normal people yeah, in almost a year, but then I quit. And going to the gym is better for me with a partner, but I have trouble with doing that. I want to exercise with friends, I want to go to matches with friends, I want to travel with friends, etc. I want to continue with things I want to be better at. I want to do those things, but it has never been easy for me. As an autistic, I also have special interests. It's common for autistics that they have special interests. They may spend with those interests for a very long time. In almost my entire life, I have been interested in TV and gaming. I have also been interested in geography. There are also advantages with being autistic. If I haven't been autistic, I would never have traveled to some places in Sweden and other countries and record there and then upload the videos on YouTube. It means a lot to me to travel to other places. I can get friends and subscribers from those places. There are also things that I have been interested in later in life. It is common for autistics that they will reach their milestones later in life, such as speaking and other things for example non-autistics begin with playing football very early in their lives but for me though i began in my 20s that was very late for me to begin yeah it doesn't matter the most important is that i have fun with a sport yeah, and the interest to watch the sport is also bigger for me compared to me for more than seven years ago. Now I'm going to talk about idiosyncratic speech patterns. It's very common that autistic people repeat some phrases or other echolalia. When I went at school, I used to nag at my classmates. When I talk to myself, I often nag about what will happen in the future. I nag about what will happen tomorrow. I do that because I wish that everything will be better. And now when this video is on YouTube, everything for me will be better, I hope. Other idiosyncratics or speaking with an unusual tone, volume, speed and or pitch. When someone asked me something, it happened that I yelled when he or she did that. It's common for some autistics that they yell when someone is asking them something. I will now talk about meltdowns. It's common for autistics that they will get a meltdown. It's similar to a tantrum but is not done on purpose. It involves crying, screaming, lashing out, 
throwing oneself on the floor, hit oneself, etc. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on the computer, but I wasn't allowed to do that, and I became distressed because of that. Yeah, guys, I hope you learned something about autism. Before I will say my goodbye to you guys, I need to say something. This video must be shared. Yeah, you guys need to share it because it's very important information. More people need to know about autism. And for me, as an autistic, it will change my life. But anyway, like and comment this video, sharing this video is essential, subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos of this channel. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys learned something and I will see you guys in the next video. Thumbs up!